I've just been cleaning up these parts of the angled poise lamp for that surface grinder and you can see perhaps that they're just really cheap two bits of pressed metal made into two U channels pushed together so they overlap look yeah they overlap and then they're spot welded in the middle now I probably can't do this oh I can look how they twist they're absolutely useless the cheapest thing ever so I'm going to get in a bit of TIG welding practice and I'm going to try and spot these along here. Now I must one day get myself a proper welding bench but the Black & Decker workmate will have to do for now. So I'm going to try spot here. I'm using my new torch. I've set it right down to 20 amps. So it may not be enough but this stuff is so, so thin you can almost breathe through it. So it'll be good practice for me condensation in my mask of course can't see a blasted thing purge the gas okay let's try is not quite enough twenty five sort of working but not really thirty Yeah, 30, 30 amps. Well, that was good TIG practice. I'm still only a beginner, really. This was my best effort, perhaps, or that one. Some others were quite rough, like this one here. Now, I didn't burn through anywhere, which I'm very pleased about. This area here was already really rough before I started. I'll get these cleaned up now, I'll file off some of the lumps and then paint them. I'm fitting the base for the work light, so there's two holes there already and I've drilled a hole through the centre so we can put the cable down through the machine this time. And this is an LED driver and that'll go into the base of the machine and I'll run the cable up through the column and out of here. I think that's the right way. Easy enough to swap it round if it's not screw that down it tightens the spring so stiffens it up as you need so you can see I've fitted the first leg but I'm going to leave it at that for now because I've got plenty of other work to do and if I put it all on I'll guarantee I'll end up poking my eye out so we'll just leave it up there for now I think you can see that we've got an oil leak you see the oil running down there and it's here and it's all over here and it's got drips under here but I think it's running from this seal down here down here drip 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 down here so I want to take this handle off and get this seal out and see if we can fix that now you might notice that this contactor plate is off again now that's not a video continuity fail it's off again because there might be some good news potentially which I'll tell you about if it works out if it doesn't work out we'll never mention it again try and drain some of this out if I wind this nut back down it should give me a chance to stop that moving there we are Now I've already had a go at this ring, I just tapped it with a screwdriver and I can move it. Well I thought the seal was formed by a flat rubber washer and then this metal washer in front and then the screw just squeezing on that and squeezing the rubber. But I'm having difficulty getting this metal washer off and out. 
So I don't know if this is an oil seal. I don't think so. I'll keep at it. It's looking like it could be an oil seal. I'm sure we've been here before. This has got to come apart so I can push the seal from this side. There's a big heavy spring in here, so oh, it looks like it's okay, doesn't it? Ooh. Well, there was no need to do that, actually, to take that pump off. This bit here, which I thought was just a washer, is actually part of this casting. And what we've got is a little O-ring there. That's all I need to change, I think. That is so hard, that ring. I'm squeezing that with quite a bit of force and I can barely get it to move. Okay, well, with new seals fitted. Now there is a possibility that there is a pinhole in the casting because the oil reservoir is just this body of the knee. But I think this is the cause of the leak. It certainly was a leak. I'm just saying it might not be the only leak. Well, that job didn't amount to much and it might save somebody else some time if they have to do it. I imagine they will or would because that seal was so hard. Now I've changed the seal on the pump pull handle shaft. Hopefully that won't leak anymore. But whilst I'm doing the job, I've just made this plate for the front of this opening here and filled it with a thin oil and I just want to check that there's nothing leaking through the body of this chamber here, you know, through a casting pinhole or something like that. So that's the level. We'll leave it a few days and see if it drops. I'm doing this because there just seemed to be oil all over the place, dripping forever. And when I was trying to operate the handle, I wasn't really getting anything out if you saw that video. So this will just settle that question anyway, one way or the other. So we come back to this about four or five days later. Put your hand up if you think I'm wasting my time. You can put your hand down now. Dribble, dribble, look. So there's no way that the oil can get to the delivery pipe inside because it's too high up. So this must be coming from a leak somewhere in there. And because we know that it drained completely, so when, when I got the machine, there was absolutely no oil in there. We know it must be a pinhole or a crack somewhere very low down in that oil reservoir. So I'll drain it out. We'll see what we can see inside. I'll show you where the delivery pipe exits. So you can see it comes quite high up. I'm gonna try the dentist mirror and just see if I can see anything. Now I've looked for some uh, petrol tank sealer. It's like a kind of, um, you know, petroleum type jelly sort of something. I've used it before, but I had it gone off. Anyway, using that, it's about 20 pounds at least. So what would you say? 25 US. And it's just not worth it. So we'll figure something out. I don't know. It's deja vu all over again. That was a joke, by the way, just in case you wondered. I can put this back into the bottle, it was only jack oil because I've already cleaned this out so I know that there's no grinding grit in it. Just try and save what I can. Well I just took the front off so we can see what we're doing. Now you can see where the pipe starts and runs up to the back. So the oil we had in here was not going to run up that pipe. So if there's oil leaking from in here, it's got to be from, you know, lower down. Now you can see it's painted pink. I don't know why they do that. I thought maybe the pink painting was to, uh, like a coating, to stop any leaks if there were pinholes or something like that. But if I show you some other pieces, you can see that, well, they haven't painted behind this corner or across here. Uh, they miss bits inside. And if I just show you the front piece, they have painted that look, but it's not fully painted. So 
I don't even understand why they painted it unless it was to block leaking pinholes pinholes that might leak you can see the sight glass there that's the chromium back of it I really don't see anything wrong so am I wasting my time probably am I overthinking it probably but I think what I will do is I will paint it grey this grey is oil resistant so if I do that it will give me peace of mind I'll make a new gasket for here because it broke and that'll be it then there's no point painting any higher than where the pipe exits the chamber at the back because that's not sealed anyway where you can see those uh, bits of grit on the bottom like there somewhere it's not it's just sand marks it, there must have been dimples in the original sand when it was cast so they're not loose bits they're actually joined to the metal I had a look at the casting through this hole with this dentist mirror and an endoscope and I still don't get a perfect view but I think I know enough and there is a void underneath this so if there was a pinhole yes it would leak through that into here run down and run down the back so who knows the paints all dry so we can get this back together now and no you're not having a chromatic aberration this has changed colour thanks to a kind offer by Paragon Paints which I'll tell you all about in the next video with a new gasket and a new gasket on this and I hope this brings me to the end of anything I might have to do on this oiler Hopefully done. Well I can't be certain that that tank was leaking but when I got the machine there was absolutely no oil in there and you can't extract all the oil just with the plunger so it must have gone somewhere and the seal had definitely gone it was as hard as anything and the oil was dribbling down underneath the knee so it's good to get that done. Now you can see that it's looking pretty good it's it's we're getting there but there's still more to do and I've just realized something continuity fail because you haven't seen me put these bellows on yet and here they are so when that comes around just pretend that you haven't seen those <laughs>